Hey guys, my name is Krithika. After wanting to visit Bali for a very long time, I finally made it here and spent two whole weeks exploring the beautiful islands of Bali and Gili. Had a total blast, experienced some amazing things, and made a lot of friends along the way. So here's my travel series from Bali. What's up guys, it's Krithika. Welcome back to my channel. I've been traveling in Bali and currently I'm in Ubud, hence all this greenery. Uh, so I've already posted a couple of videos from this trip and in case you haven't seen those, I'm gonna leave the links in the description box below. Be sure to check them out. I'm doing this trip with a company called When in City, which does group tours for youngsters, specifically between the ages of 18 and 32. So there are a lot of other people my age traveling along with me and I've made a lot of friends and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, so so we got to Ubud last evening and it started raining so we didn't really do much but we did walk around our hotel and I'm already loving the vibe of this place. It's so zen and peaceful and really rustic. So this behind me is our room. I'm gonna give you a quick room tour. So as you enter, this is the room. We've got a bathroom over here, a nice mirror here, and that's me and uh, yeah we've got a nice balcony outside which is my favorite part. So this is the balcony and this is the view from the balcony. So last night the entire group went for a volcano trek to Mount Bator and I was really excited about doing this trek but unfortunately I felt sick and I have an upset stomach so I couldn't really go uh, but the entire group just got back and they told me how amazing it was so I'm feeling a little bad about missing it uh, but nonetheless I'm really excited to be in Ubud and I'm gonna go out and explore. So my plan for today is to first go to the Ubud palace and then I'm gonna do a bit of shopping, go to the monkey forest, try to catch the waterfalls and hopefully my stomach will cooperate so let's see how today goes. Ubud Palace is about a 20 minute walk from uh, my hotel so I'm just gonna walk it. The Ubud Palace is so beautiful, so many pretty markets here and I'm very tempted to shop and the streets here are really nice and green as well. This behind me is the Ubud Palace and this used to be the house of the royal family of Ubud and it's quite a beautiful building. Ubud Palace is actually free and it's right in the center of the city so it's definitely worth checking out. Shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes to see this place. So right outside Ubud Palace is the flea market where there are lots of stores and uh, apparently it's great for street shopping so that's where I'm headed next. I'm buying myself this sarong. Thank you. Okay, so this market is actually massive and you get a lot of things here and quite affordable too. But because I'm feeling a little under the weather, I didn't really shop much. I just bought a sarong because uh, she was like, please buy the sarong for good luck. So I couldn't say no to her uh, and it wasn't very expensive. So I bought that. Uh, but I think I'm going to save my shopping for some other day because I don't really feel like shopping today. Got some dosa in Ubud. The streets of Ubud are so pretty. I'm really enjoying walking by them. And uh, Ubud seems like a vegan paradise. Literally everywhere you look, there's a really nice, cute vegan cafe. So I've just met up with the gang and we're eating some Indonesian food for lunch today. And I'm having uh, this dish called nasi champur, which I think is like a thali and it looks really interesting. Uh, let's try it out and see what it's like. wanting to introduce you guys to veg 
Jayanti, who is from Wenin City uh, for a while now. So, how's the trip going? She's like the team captain, uh, the group leader. I have to say, I I captain every time. I I captain. So, we're actually roomies here on this trip, and uh, yeah, it's been really, yeah, it's been so much fun. You want to say something? Um, I guess for us, Bali has been all about uh, going out every day. I think we barely stayed in doors. Yeah. And, uh, I'm really sad that Krizika couldn't make it for the volcano hike today. I know, I was really sad. But, but she's gonna make up by going to a really cool waterfall. Hopefully that will happen. Hopefully. That's the plan as of now. <laughs> Otherwise, we still have some really cool things we're doing tomorrow. So yeah. yeah. Fun trip! Yay! <laughs> That lunch was awesome. Next, I'm heading to go see the monkey forest, which is uh, basically like this sanctuary with a lot of monkeys in them. It's starting to rain, so not the best weather. Say hello to a bunch of monkeys. massive and you could easily get lost in here. Also, unlike the monkeys at Uluwatu, the monkeys here seem really friendly and nice. Done at the monkey forest, we're now heading to get a spa. So when in city actually booked the spa for all of us because uh, uh, the hike today was supposedly very tiring so they thought it'll be nice to have a spa. Uh, I didn't really go for the hike but I think I could still use a spa so uh, that's where we're heading next. Also we rented a bike so hopefully uh, after the spa we'll go to the waterfalls. Oh my god, that massage was so good. I'm usually not a big fan of massages, but this one was just really good. Uh, so it's raining now, unfortunately, but I really want to go to the waterfalls. I think it's open for another hour and a half. It's a 20 minute ride from here, so we're gonna try our luck and go there now. some Balinese Luwak coffee. It's really famous here. It's basically cat food coffee. Uh, so I tried it in Vietnam as well and I remember not liking it too much but I'm gonna try it again here because it's famous here. I've also ordered a Vietnamese coffee because it was on the menu and I love Vietnamese coffee. Got myself some Lua coffee. Let's try this. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> So it's the next morning and the waterfalls yesterday was so beautiful. It was pouring cats and dogs while we got there and on our way back as well. And uh, we got completely drenched because the splash from the waterfalls was just so intense. But it was completely worth it. So beautiful. And because it was raining, it wasn't as crowded as it normally is, I think. So that was nice. We also got back and went out to like a few cafes and stuff. We went and tried Luwak coffee, which is basically cat poop coffee. Uh, and then we went and got some dinner. And overall, I really liked Ubud and I really wish I had a few more days here but unfortunately we're checking out now and heading to Seminyak. Uh, on the way we're going to be stopping at a few places like the rice terraces so really excited about that. So 
made it to Tagalalang Rice Terraces, which is basically a series of sprawling rice paddies. And uh, this place is really popular for photos and stuff. Uh, so there's lots of tourists here and it's really crowded. Uh, I'm just about to go zip lining and take one of those swings as well. This is safe, right? Yeah, it's really safe. <laughs> Three, two, one, and go! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> So this was a lot of fun. So we're not done. We're going to be ziplining all the way to the bottom as well. And uh, we paid like 200,000 IDR, which is like 1,000 rupees, which is kind of a ripoff. But I think it was fun, so it's worth it. So we're going to take uh, the swing. This one is the super extreme one. is at this temple called Tirtha Emperor which is one of the oldest temples in Bali and it's really famous because it's got these hot springs here so gonna go check that out now sarong to be able to get in and they give you these sarongs for free over here. So they have lots of different springs over here, each one with a different purpose. So they have one for insomnia, one for more energy and stuff like that. Uh, so technically you're supposed to get inside the water and have the springs pour onto your head But I don't really want to get wet because we have to head to Seminyak after this uh, So not gonna do that, but this place is really beautiful and the architecture is really nice So right outside the temple is a little market area where apparently you get really nice souvenirs and stuff So gonna go check that out now and hopefully pick up some things instrument it's called karimba and uh, I'm buying it for my brother because he likes music thank you so I'm just picking up some of these to gift to people hi, hi. what's your name Jenny. What's name? Jenny. 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 So we just did a lot of shopping. This place is actually quite nice for shopping and very affordable as well. Uh, very tired now having some Nariel Pani. Also, meet Albaro. So cute. Albaro. Say hi, Albaro. Say hi. Say hi with this hand. <laughs> da, 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 Give da, me a high five. No? no, no, no. So we've made it to Seminyak and this is actually the last day of our trip with Venom City and uh, so we've decided that the entire group will get together and head to Potato Head which is like this beach club and uh, the sunset view from there is amazing so that's where we're headed now. fun we ended up going partying at sky garden which was this massive club so that was a lot of fun and a great way to end our trip trip 
with when in city in bali has come to an end it has been such an insane experience i've made a lot of good friends who i think i'll remain in touch with a lot of people on instagram have been messaging me and asking me for my review about when in city so i'm just going to briefly sum it up over here firstly i think this is great for solo travelers if you're traveling solo for the first time especially everything is just organized for you so you just have to come and have fun and get an experience of solo travel and you get to meet a lot of people as well so it's just awesome that way uh secondly uh it's just really safe because they're organizing everything for you so your safety is taken care of so uh that's really nice as well and third you meet some amazing people like i said before uh solo travel can get kind of lonely uh so this was a good mix of solo and a group experience so if you want to do some things on your own you're free to go and do those on your own and when you want to hang out with the group you can do that as well so it was a good mix of both and we managed to cover a lot of things in these 9 days it was a very action packed trip so much fun a lot of cool experiences there was surfing scuba diving hiking a volcano unfortunately i didn't hike the volcano uh, but yeah we did a lot of things and i don't think i could have covered all of these things in 9 days on my own everyone i met on this trip was really nice and overall i had so much fun uh, so this is going to be the end of this vlog but i have three more days in bali so there's going to be another vlog from bali as well so be sure to subscribe to my channel press the bell button uh, to get notifications when my other videos go up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye